What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another weekly roundup of eFootball 2023. So we're kind of into the transition now to eFootball 2024. We do have some new Showtime players. We'll just have a look at them there. And uh, yeah, I mean, we've got Haaland, Rodri and Bastoni. I already have a... I don't know why the quality is so bad there. But I already have a, a video up on the player review of these. So it's pretty much just the three cards there that you see and just a nice little video to go along with it normal you know we already are used to that we also get our login bonus we also get a free eFootball festival login reward as well which is a free legend we'll get to that in a second you can see there um and there's a couple of other little bits and pieces as well they're still having issues with the server uh obviously co-op is back today so a lot of people are back playing co-op and then we've got our first bit of news on eFootball 2024 so we're going to go through this right i'm going to hide my webcam because we want to get into it proper and then i'm going to show you what's in the inbox as well so talking about preparing for eFootball 2024 this is our first official mention of it we know it's coming we know it's going to be august september i would say in my opinion it'll probably be like um dropped in august and then obviously maybe like there'll be an update to tie us in with the latest transfers and stuff in september that's what i think they'll do um but let's see we do get confirmation that eFootball 2024 is effectively going to be v3.0.0 so what they'll probably do is transition over from v2.6 to v3.0 and then we'll go into proper eFootball 2024 right now what's going to be included and what is going to be carried over whatever you have right so it goes without saying that all your eFootball coins your points your gp your nominating contracts your chance deals your contract renewals your training programs skill programs special strips and settings will be carried over to eFootball 2024 so think of eFootball 2024 as just the same as every other update except hopefully way bigger obviously we're going to be having the new uh, transfers the new players um, that are going to be there like in the new squads um, we're also going to have you would imagine the relegated teams the promoted teams all this all the kits that they have for the licensed uh, teams and stuff like that they also say that the carryover status for the following following things may differ depending on various factors. So your base team, players, managers, avatars, and objectives. So that's just going to be something that they'll probably change anyway. Now, one big change that a lot of people, I don't see anybody really talking about this, but it kind of was the writing on the wall because they've completely done away with the playstyle proficiency with the cards in the last few months. But this is actually a pretty big thing, right? Because it was a lot, a lot of, um, there was a lot of people that kind of ignored this um, and then they got kind of, you know, bitten uh, by it because they forgot to do the team playstyle proficiency early doors with their legends, including yours truly here, right? Um, they, you are able to retrain your players, but they're completely doing away with the team playstyle proficiency. So the team playstyle level will no longer be a gameplay element. Therefore, players will not have a team playstyle proficiency and their abilities will no longer increase or decrease according to their team playstyle proficiency values, regardless of the team playstyle. This allows users to play matches freely using any team team play style this is obviously a big boost for people that just don't want to be bothering and they want to switch their formations tactics and everything i would say and in read more into this and it's just a little bit of um you know kind of like in looking into the future i reckon they're going to give us a lot more tactical options because of this without having to mess with just the five limitations that we have at the moment like quick counter long ball you have to buy a manager he can't play any other formation so i think the managers will still use the same way but i think you'll be able to train up the managers or they'll become more accustomed with your team as you play them as a bit of more of an rpg thing that's just my uh, opinion on it it could be right it could be wrong regarding player portraits so they're also doing away with a max level standard player card so it's just going to be the same card you couple off the top of my head such as pedri it changes their card when you max them out for the standard version they're doing away with that now as well and then they also talk about a large scale maintenance between mid-august and september so again there's that mid-august date so i would be thinking about maybe you know the last week in august or maybe like you know the 20th of august or something like that and then they'll be carrying over assets until the new season starts proper with all the transfers the majority of standard player signs will have their affiliations and photos updated there will no longer be um in addition players that are no longer available in eFootball 2024 will be replaced with in games item of equivalent value so we saw this with nikunku last year he was in the game they took him out of the game 
um, and now he'll be back in the game. So that's going to be interesting as well, right? There's more information there. They also added just a little bit more about this removal of team playstyle level objectives. That just ties in with uh, taking away the team playstyle, right? So other than that, right, we have got a couple of uh, bits and bobs in the game here um, just to kind of have a, have a little chat about, right? So they talk about this as well. It's just a small little thing. They're going to remove save data of users who have not been active for the last six months. So if you haven't lo logged in in a while, um, you will need to do that very quickly uh, if you want to get in. We also have our free eFootball Festival login and our free European Club Championship login, right? So we'll get all those as well as GP. Um, this is just from logging in. This is my role. This is my main profile here. Um, you can see with all the <coughs> with all the GP. Now, talking about what's new in the game, right? So the big one obviously is uh co-op is back, which we'll get to have a look at here. I'll try and go through this quick, lads, because I've covered everything. Events, right? So as usual, we do have the rinse and repeat events, but we have a new starter event because a lot of newcomers are playing the game. You get 100,000 GP. On top of that, you do get a couple of more rewards as well. So that is the main reward using any of those teams. You get 50,000, 50,000, then you get another... Um, 20,000 trainer programs once you get to 1500 points, another 50, another 50, another 20 trainer programs, another 50, another 50, another 20 programs, and then another 50, 50, and 100. So, I mean, that is a serious amount of GP if you were starting off. You'd pretty much be able to buy any player that you want uh, once you complete that starter event and you can, you know, play it as normal against the AI. You can put it on any difficulty you want and learn the ropes. Same with this one. This is against the AI. You get your free player of the week. All you have to do is complete that. You can sim the games. You don't even need to play the games. You can just be manager. And then, of course, we do have this finishing off as well, the J-League. Now, one thing I like to see is these kind of... Um, challenges right so they do have an ai challenge where you're going to be playing against psg and these are the conditions right so you just need to win matches okay so the challenge one is you get a free spin here you get a part two in encore stars you get a spin at that then you get your training programs uh when you uh win the challenge two right and then we also have a golden goal back so this is a huge one for people looking to finish off the match pass you know win lose or draw the matches are super quick um and people can grind out that as well and it's fun it adds a little bit of fun to it it's not as uh, cautious it's more gung-ho um eFootball League is still ongoing as normal and then they did bring back a co-op right so there's your co-op it's the exact same as the beta from what I've seen so far uh, 3v3 2v2 or else you can play with the AI um, I will like to see what their plans are for this going forward and then of course we do have all of the new contracts as well there's nothing in the eFootball points uh, store but we do have these here so we've got the free legend any of these legends you can spin so you've got Casillas, you've got Burkamp, Law, Drogba, and all of these guys that you see here. There's a couple of ones in there that are exciting. There's a couple of ones that are just not worth spinning for, in my opinion. You've also got the Showtime, Haaland, Rodri, and Bastoni. Rodri's the only one with the game-changing pass. I have a review done on them, and I will do a review and training guides on all of these. And then you have the repeated player of the weeks. So these are just thrown in together. There's 21 in this pack of previous player of the weeks. Some are slightly different, but pretty much all the same. Batoma is a good, uh, good shot there. And Mane. And then you've got the part two here as well with Kimmich, Odegaard, Griezmann, and a couple of others, right? Young stars, they're all still ongoing. Um, what else do we have? I think that's pretty much it, lads. I mean, that is pretty much it. Every week is kind of the same. Make sure and keep an eye as well on these. You can tune in and get eFootball points. You can get 500 there simply by just going. Once you've logged in to the website here, all you do is uh, go to the eFootball point store, log in as you normally do, and you'll get another 500 points. Um, and then that tops up as well with this 500 here that you can get you literally just have to click into that and go to watch and it will pop up there you go as you see there added to the inbox and then there was another one here as well i think at the back uh i could be wrong or maybe i've already done it but anyway yeah you catch the drift just follow the in-game instructions if you're looking to do that the e-football festival they've talked about this right so you we, we get our epic worldwide login bonus today okay which is going to be one of these players um, we get four Showtime cards and we're also going to get four player of the weeks in the challenge events, right? So they're pretty much giving out everything that you could possibly want, especially if you are a newcomer here. I mean, you're getting 440,000 um, 
GP just for logging in. And then the challenge event is going to give us 80,000 XP. It's going to give us eight trainers, four player of the weeks, and then four showtime and 200 coins as well for just logging in throughout this eFootball festival. So yeah, the tour event, 500,000. Between doing the tour event, the special login bonus, you're going to get a million GP. You're going to get 60,000 XP and you're going to get four showtime with 200 coins. So yeah, I mean, look, I think it's, it's shaping up now for eFootball 2024. And that transition is going to be pretty big, I'd say. So I will be back quite soon, lads. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, peace.